Hi Virgo, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. So this is for Virgo, sun, moon, or rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just want to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. All right, Virgo. So coming right out the gate, you've got the strength card. So some of you guys could be like getting, you know, kind of gathering the courage to do something. Let's see what's coming in to clarify that. If this is like the courage to talk to someone or to make a big jump. Let's see. Okay. What are you? Uh-huh. Virgo. What's going on? So first you have the hanged man, right? So some of you guys could have been feeling like stuck or you've been in this voluntary sacrifice. You're in a transition phase because there's things, believe it or not, like this is the shadow side of this card. It could be some martyrdom, arrogance, stalling, and needless sacrifice. So some of you guys could have been kind of in this mode where you've been afraid to do something or some, like I keep getting that this is with someone else. Um, some of you guys could be trying to get the courage to almost like end something with someone or to reveal something, reveal some type of truth. And that's why I'm wondering if that's the case because you have the moon card that also popped out. So I think some of you guys, you're, you've kept something from someone or maybe it's vice versa. Like I said, this could be cross watcher. You're dealing with a Virgo or maybe it's vice versa. You're dealing with someone that is keeping secrets from you or you just feel like there's illusions. You know, there was something, Virgo, where you got into something and you were like, this is what it is, and then you felt stuck. Like you got into the situation and it, you, it's because what came out through this relationship was a lot of your shadow side because the moon card is the subconscious. So there could have been something where your conscious mind was like conjuring up this illusion of what this thing was, like maybe this connection that you were like, this is it. And then you ended up feeling like, OMG, get me out of here. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I, this is so funny because everyone has been getting this Knight of Swords. So I feel like just as the collective, there's a lot of energy around standing up communicating your truth, communicating just even what you want, you know, because maybe there's something also with the moon card where you've been kind of deceiving yourself about what you truly want. And you've been going along with certain things because there's been some fears, you know, maybe fears around survival, or you've had the fear to really take the courage to do something specific. Oh, okay, Ace of Swords. So that's what I was getting a lot with this, with the Moon card. Yeah, there's truth coming out. I feel like someone's going to be revealing something, whether that's you, Virgo, or another person, but there's some truth coming out big time in this read. Holy freak. Okay, the Four of Cups. Oh, this is what I feel like is happening, Virgo. There could have been someone that you were dealing with and they felt rejected by you or something or you could have like gone no contact or just kind of completely disconnected yourself and this person got really offended and sensitive by it so what they did was at a time when they were feeling bored like that could be the person right now they're feeling bored and so they're just like boom there's like some type of a a revelation or truth or almost like unexpected communication is what I'm picking up on and it's like what in the world that's what I'm getting from this so let me see if any other cards clarify that that's why because someone that you were dealing with Virgo and just stay open maybe this is you but the page of cups yeah someone was really sensitive here really really sensitive and I feel like 
uh, for example, for some of you, if you're like currently dating someone and you've told them some type of truth and for some of you, it could be the other side of the story where you feel like, um, you feel a little guilty and so maybe you express some type of a truth and so this person is kind of taking advantage of it a little bit. I'm not gonna lie because for some of you it's like a few different stories that I'm picking up on because some of you I feel like someone is bored and so they're still kind of maybe even using some type of like like sensitivity or vulnerability to keep you coming back in. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like at times the moon, it can be a bit manipulative of energies or of emotions, okay? Not to make you guys all skeptical and crazy, but I wouldn't be saying this if the freaking Knight of Swords and the Strength card didn't come out to kind of clarify. There's something here where you're overcoming a fear or standing up for yourself, okay? And look at that, the Page of Pentacles. So you've got two pages coming in here. And I feel as though, um, to me, this feels like an apology, honestly. There's offerings here coming in. I feel like something that happened where someone just kind of like said something on an impulse, because that's kind of what I'm getting with the lion card in the back there, the lion, yeah, and that's why I was picking up on that, because the king of wands in the fear position, someone was afraid. Oh, get this, Virgo. If this is for some of you where someone just like reacted in a way, it's because when you disconnected from them, uh, for some of you, or maybe this is vice versa, they were afraid that you were going to ruin some type of plans that they had like that you were going to like they had these plans for their future and so what they were trying to do they their own conscience came in and they were just like so afraid that you were going to do to them something that they feel guilty about i hope this is making sense and so what they did was they lashed out in some way shape or form or maybe this is coming in this for some of you this could be a heads up so that's why i feel like they were trying to get control over you and the situation and it's kind of backfiring, you know what I mean? And I feel like kind of in a way, karma is going to be coming back on them a bit. Um, yeah, because the, okay, here's the full card. Because I think what's happening is uh, you're moving towards a new beginning. There's someone here that's not a fan of that. You're like leaving all the past crap in the past and someone wasn't okay with that. Like, it's almost like energetically, there were these two reflections of your own vibration where you were still a bit hesitant about stepping into your power because you've got a lot of page energy. So there's a lot of youthful, like learning things, student, maturing that's happening there. So that could have been why the courage is to take the leap in a different direction that you want to go in, but you you were a little bit afraid to take your power back with that king of wands there in your fear position. So you could have attracted someone that came in as an energetic reflection of that. That's the entanglement. So here's what's beautiful. Here's the four of wands. In your mind, yeah, you're wanting like, celebration you want happy energy for some of you you just want a peaceful and happy home like you're like yeah this is what i totally want that's coming out in your mind okay so in you're putting the intentions out there so i feel like that's coming in with this new beginning this new chapter but there was just this development happening where you were still maturing in some ways maybe for some of you it was handling like finances or handling your emotions and certain triggers and just um, becoming really like right but the strength card that's about being courageous and handling things on your own so I feel like alchemically that's kind of what was being developed in you where you're pulling into your strength here but there was a bit of a fear of standing in your power do you know what I mean and king of swords look at that look at the maturing here you are kind of standing up for yourself but the beautiful thing i'm seeing about this virgo is you're not even like this is from a bit of fear where you have to stand up for yourself the king of swords doesn't have fear he's just like kind of a force to be reckoned with 
And so that's why I feel like your maturing of energies is really powerful. You're finally, like, for example, I've seen this happen in the past. So that's why I'm feeling like this is kind of connecting and maybe with at least one of you are going through. And what's going to help you the most is almost like being too good to even respond to any type of like uh, immature energies that are coming in at you, like not even giving your energy or attention to it because that feeds it. Especially if this one, this person, possibly a fire sign, has an addiction to power or feeds off of it, is an energy vampire. Yeah, you're detaching yourself. You're totally emotionally detaching and not giving any reaction to it at all, Virgo. I love that. So I'm going to dive into the extended with this for whoever this connected to. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Virgo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.